Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Knocking out that right there, 2020 Prism Football, 20 box blaster case. This is picker team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. No vet commons ship, everything else does. And if you follow the instructions here, you'll have a shot at getting the chargers. So very big thanks to everybody here for getting into the action. I appreciate it. Now let's sort by your first names right here. And once again, if you bought at least two teams, you get one entry, four teams, two entries for a shot at the Chargers. Anthony bought two. He gets an entry. Chase bought two. He gets an entry. Derek bought two. He gets an entry. Glenn bought four. He gets two entries. Jay got two. He gets an entry. Matt got two, an entry. Michael with two. That's an entry. Matt's brother Nathaniel got two. That's an entry. Ramon with an entry. Briggs with an entry. Scott with an entry. Tom Judge with an entry. And Travis Knapp with an entry. There you go. So one spot out of the 14 that's on this list right here is going to get the Chargers in this break. Good luck. Thank you very much for getting in. Cross those fingers. Let's roll it. Randomize it. Four and a two, six times. Name on top after six. One. Two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Name on top is Jay Goins. Congrats to you, Jay. Four and a two, six times. Your name is on top. You get the charters. Bolt up. Let's sort by column B. Chargers with a new coach. They just announced, I think he had, a, had the presser today. Let's print that out. Good luck, everybody. What's up, Tom? Good, good. All right, so let's flip over to this screen right here. There it is, 2020 Prism Football Blaster Edition. And let's pop this baby open and let's see what we got in here. Yeah, Eagles got a new coach today, too. The uh, Colts offensive coordinator. Longtime Charger coach. Too. Longtime Charger coach. I wonder if they're going to, are they going to try to fix Wentz? Or will they move Wentz? I don't know what's going to happen. Who knows? Steelers requested uh, an interview with uh, Pat Hamilton, who just developed uh, Herbert. So. What, as like OC? Oh, they fired their OC, didn't they? Yeah. That's right. So. So Steelers looking for offensive coordinator. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Four rows of five, that makes 20. You can see all the boxes on the top camera right over there. So good luck, everybody. Mostly, uh, mostly looking for parallels in here. I feel like the autos are few and far between in these blasters, but you guys know the drill about blasters. This is pretty good, though, to do a full case. Pop open a few of them at a time. So who's left? Who who is without a head? I think the Lions got a head coach. Uh, only, the Texans. only the Texans. Did the Falcons get their head coach? Yes. All right. So just the Texans are left. So I guess every, everyone's coaching staffs have been spoken for. Yes, Nicholas, check the schedule. It'll, it'll tell you exactly when we did it. And the video list too. I think that video is already up. It's been done and dusted. So who won the coaching carousel? Or I, I guess you'd have to say that I, I still feel like I like that Jets hire. Robert Sala going to the Jets, I think, is, is a great move. This could be a, a franchise changer. This is the crossroads for the Jets. Could be a franchise changer. 
for them. They could point to the moment they hired Robert Sala. And Matt saying Parcells-esque for uh, Robert Sala. We'll see. I mean, I'm sure the Jets would love that. Travis is wondering, yeah, hey, uh, how, how's Urban Meyer going to do in Jacksonville? The college, you know, that's, that's always a thing, right? The college coaches going to the pros, it's a little bit harder. You're not coaching kids anymore. You know, you're, you're coaching grown men, adults, guys with families and kids and stuff like that. You know, so that's that's gonna be different. Oh, is that right, Matt? Matt St. Martin thinks he's Urban Meyer's gonna lose his first seven games and then fake some health issues and get out of get out of Jacksonville after that. It's, like... oh, it's five on three for the Kings. You gotta score a goal here. Forty seconds left. All right, here's the first four boxes. Good luck, everybody. There's Michael Vick. There's Gabriel Davis. Oh, did I print the, here's the final printout right here. So Gabriel, there's the goal. Gabriel Davis goes to Robert Briggs, Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! Gabriel Davis could raise his stock this weekend if he has a good game. It's possible. There's John Brown. So these orange velocity, I think is what they're called, are not numbered, but of course they will ship. It'll just be commons like, the, uh, yeah, vet commons like these guys that won't ship. Obviously all rookies ship, all parallels ship. So that ships. Jim McMahon ships, he's a parallel. There's Shaquille Griffin. Chase Claypool, nice Chase Claypool orange. That's going to go to Pittsburgh, Michael Gallucci. Steelers looking for a new OC. Got Dwayne Haskins too. What does everyone think about that? Maybe Dwayne Haskins marinates behind marinates behind uh, Big Ben for a season or so. See what they can get out of him. I think it's a pretty low risk, high reward situation there by picking up Haskins. Yeah, Doug's hoping the Packers win this Saturday. I'm on the Packers this Saturday. I've already made a, uh, a financial investment, if you will, on, on, on the Packers, minus three. It's Miles Sanders. Donald Driver. I'm on the Bills, too. So I'm, I'm thinking uh, Packers, Bills. Super Bowl. There's a nice Chase Young Silver. Travis Knapp with the Washington football team. There you go. Prism Silvers are always pretty desirable. Chase Young may be wrecking games for, for a decade or more for Washington. Minka Fitzpatrick. Chad Johnson for the Bengals, LaVisca Chenault Jr., Emmett Smith. Shaquille Griffin again for the Seahawks. Another Chase Claypool, Orange Velocity. And a Jim McMahon Silver, that'll ship. And that Fireworks Camara, of course, is an insert that will ship as well. Nice, that's first four boxes there. Here come the next four.
What does everyone have? Uh, what does everyone have in this weekend's games? What Super Bowl would you like to see? Buffalo Green Bay says Sean Jaspi. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. I feel like any combination. Like, what's the worst combination of Super? I, I think any any combination of the games would be really good. Yeah, Travis wants Green Bay Buffalo as well. I think as a as a fan, he doesn't have a stake in the action. You know, Matt wants Packers Bills too. Yeah, I think that's what I want too. But I think I think any combination of I don't, I'll Pat Bucks. Bills would be great. Bucks Chiefs. Yeah. I'm sure someone will pick him up. I don't think are you allowed to? Yeah, because he wasn't picked up on waiver. Oh. I think Buffalo might be able to run out of it. I don't know. Yeah, but is it that easy to plug and play a running back like that? I mean a big dude like that. Just just design like a few plays for him, have him practice it over the next two weeks and just be like Maybe, yeah, if they if they get to the Super Bowl. There's an extra week, right? Mm -hmm. They might, actually, because they, yeah, they don't have Zach Moss. Nathan's a Pack fan living near Buffalo. So, yeah, yeah, Packers Bills would be a lot of fun then. And if this if this wasn't, if we weren't in the midst of a pandemic, I, I, I would consider... Going to Buffalo if they were in the Super Bowl, watching at a bar somewhere. There's Shaquille Barrett. James Proche for the Ravens. That'll be for Derek. Raheem Mostert. A.J. Dillon. Andre Johnson. And look at that. Orange Velocity Tua Tungo Vailoa. That will be for Jay Goins, who bought the Marlins, or Marlins, bought the Dolphins straight up, and also won the Chargers. So some luck for him. It's a good looking card. Cameron Jordan, Cam Akers, Julian Okwara, Jerry Rice Silver for the Niners, Matt. And that's for the Lions, that'll be for Eddie. It's Michael Pittman Jr., Julian Edelman, and Donovan Peoples Jones for the Browns, Glenn with the Browns. Yeah, Matt thinks that Chiefs Packers a little too. A little too cliche. I wouldn't mind that either, I think. I wouldn't mind that. The State Farm Bowl, as people calling it. And we've got a Cam Akers relic. Rookie gear relic for the Rams. That's going to be for Chase. CJ Henderson for the Jaguars, JJ Watt Silver. Nathan saying he hopes hopes the Packers get there. He's a Packers fan. He's saying though they found ways to lose before. But I, this is this is 
This is their year. I want to say, like, I think there's been a lot said about, like, oh, you know, Rodgers doesn't have weapons. Why didn't they draft him weapons? But it turns out that, you know, that guys like Valdez Scantling, you know, and and Alan Lazard are actually pretty good. Yeah, it's St. Brown's in the mix, and, and obviously having Devontae Adams out there opens up space for all of those younger, the, those young pass catchers. You know, and then Aaron, Aaron Jones, that guy's pretty good. I think their defense is pretty good too. Good enough. Is he? All right, next four boxes. So, yeah, Packers defense is pretty decent. Can they stop? Can they stop Tom Brady? Did Tom Brady's blood get thinner <laughs> playing in Tampa Bay all year long and living in Tampa Bay? You know, when's the last time he's played a super cold weather game, I guess? He was in a dome last week. Green Bay, one of the few spots that still has a home field advantage without fans because of the weather. I think it's going to be colder. Is it going to be colder than last week? Mahomes is playing, right? Sounds like he's practicing. He's. I think he'll be out of the. Should be out of the protocol by then. Travis says in Green Bay, supposed to be single digits that day and snowing. That's gonna that's gonna benefit Green Bay a lot more. Maybe more rushing yards for Aaron Jones. But that, that Tampa Bay front is pretty difficult. I don't know. I feel, I feel like Green Bay's offensive line is pretty good. And so, but the Tampa Bay front kind of forces you to pass, and Rodgers has no problem passing. You know, he's, he's going to enjoy doing that. And in terms of like sport investing in these teams, you know, to me, I thought, I thought maybe the Buccaneers are actually kind of a public team with Tom Brady. Usually, it's the Packers that are a, a, a public team. You know, a lot of teams, a lot of people investing on them, so so the line can be a little overrated. But I feel like I feel like there's good opportunities with the uh, Green Bay Packers. They're all pretty close. I think they're going to be like coin flip games. They, they, they got to be close. Both both games are, I think, the favorite. It's like by three points. Ooh, that's right. There is the... I forgot that. And Dominican Sue, Travis is saying he's going to get himself ejected from the game. Yeah, there's a little bit of history between him and Aaron Rodgers. All right, next four boxes, boys and girls. Here we go. And we got a Jonathan Taylor. Premier Relic for the Blue Horseshoes. That'll be for Anthony. Wait, what are the... Uh... It's Julian, what are the Colts going to do at quarterback? And don't say Jacob Eason, Sean. That's just um, don't don't say Jacob Eason. They should, no, they won't. No, no, stop, they're, they're stop. Gonna Car they're they're going to go for Carson Wentz. Um, what's his name? And, uh, who's the guy Frank Reich right? and Carson Wentz, yeah. church buddies. Yeah. Yeah, they're super close. 
So, but that's a lot of that's a lot of cap space the Eagles would have to absorb if they if they trade him. Wentz, do they want to do that? They want to handcuff themselves money wise. There's Terrell Lewis for the Rams. Silver going to Chase. See, a lot of in Darnold. Nathan Duty saying Darnold to the Colts. Interesting. So Robert Sala has given Sam Darnold the uh, the old curse, the curse of confidence. That's what you would say when you're trying to trade a quarterback like Sam Darnold, wouldn't you say? <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, if I'm Robert, if I'm Robert Sala, and there's a Justin Herbert relic, that looks nice. That goes to uh, Jay, who won the Chargers. Yeah, if I'm Robert Sala and I'm trying to trade Sam Darnold, I'd, I'd have nothing but excellent things to say about him. What a great character! One of the smartest players I've ever seen. The arm strength is unreal. You know. That that's that's it. That's that's what I would that's what I would say. So maybe Sam Darnold does go to the Colts. Travis thinks they'll actually just stick with uh, what Brissett. They might give him a year. Keelan Cole. Oh, maybe Brissett's a free agent now. Maybe they could resign him for a year. I mean, they could re-sign him, though, right? For, like, another year. Say, hey, you know the system. Blah, 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 blah. Shaquille Barrett Silver. That'll ship. T. Higgins will go to Dan and the Bengals. Still looking for Burrows for you in here. There was that Burrow insert, but we want to see... We want to see uh, just a regular rookie card Burrow. Maybe... One of these orange parallels here. Except, except Andrew Luck was really good, Rex. They should, they, they should just try to get Andrew Luck. I still think Andrew Luck's going to come back. They should just get him to unretire and say, "Listen, we've now built this team for you." Look at look. Rivers didn't get killed. He he's retiring, happy and healthy. Come back. We've got we've got guys like Jonathan Taylor as a running back for you. We got guys like Michael Pittman Jr., young pass catchers out there for you. Come back, Andrew. Let's go. We're we're this organization defense is good. You know we we are just we are just a a quarterback away. In fact, Andrew, we're drafting more offensive linemen. We're going to have so much offensive line depth, so much talent. No one's going to touch it. You'll have an hour to pass. We got weapons for you now, Andrew. Come back. Let's give it another go. Yeah. I wonder if anybody ever tells him that. Like, does it, I wonder if he ever gets a call from like he has the to. owner. Like, hey. He has to. So what do you think about this? Year? Hey, Rivers retired. Yeah, it's like, look at our offensive line. It's so much better. Look at our running game. Look at our pass catching. Our defense is legit. Do, but, yeah, I wonder if like front office people call him. I would get, like, wouldn't He's you like, just... How's the body? How's the arm? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. How's that arm feeling? He's got to be healthy by now. Because, you know, he probably doesn't ever have to work anyways, but... No. He was really smart, so I don't know if he kind of just went on with his field. It's just taking that Stanford education and just, like... He's got, like, new... He's got, like, a bunch of franchises now. He's got Papa John's franchises. He's a businessman. He's like, I, want, I just want to be an entrepreneur now. Nathan saying... There's a real possibility of Deshaun Watson going to the Jets. That would be wild. They do have the assets and the cap space. Steph is saying the Jets are going to get Fields and he's going to start. They don't need to get another quarterback. I would take Deshaun Watson over Justin Fields. 
I would take Sam Darnold over Fields, to be honest with you. I feel like the quarterback is not really... Listen, this is coming from a Raiders fan. I know, I know what it's like to have a terrible team. You know, I feel like you should. I feel like you should. Uh, you, the Jets really need to rebuild everything else until they're like a quarterback away, kind of thing. You know, why not just play Sam Darnold for the next year or two? You know, why not get? Yeah, why not get offensive line? Why not get Sewell? To be that to be that left tackle or whatever for the for the next fifteen years. Ten years, you know? And you then you you don't you don't like pick up Darnold's option. You keep building the team from the inside out. There's JK Dobbins. And then you go find that quarterback. No, no chances, Des. Des is lock it in. Fields. There's the Ravens, Derek Melanson. Do you have financial interest in this? Yeah, maybe maybe they do go Fields. Or CJ Henderson. There's James Connor. James Connor Orange Velocity. Logan Wilson, another Cam Akers, Logan Wilson for the Bengals. There's Okua Bonham. I think it's pretty obvious that Lawrence and Field going one and two. I mean, I wouldn't mind. That's hashtag good for the hobby. There's Albert Okua Bonham. Then we got a silver Albert Okoebanum for the Denver Broncos, both going to Ramon. I think I, I, there's a parallel I've not seen yet, a red one. And that's red Brian Burns, which is not numbered, but it must be, must definitely be shorter printed than the rest, right? Carolina, that'll be for Michael Gallucci and the Panthers. There's Brian Edwards for my Raiders. I think he'll take a, ne a big step next year. That'll go to Vegas, Jay Goins. There's Joe Burrow. There you go, Dan Tyson. And we got at least one, maybe more. We still have some boxes left. Base Joe Burrow for Dan Tyson, who picked up the Bengals straight up. Get well soon, Joe Burrow. There's Mike Williams right there. So now what? A Justin Herbert? We need a Justin Herbert. We got that relic. Now we need a, a orange velocity Justin Herbert, orange velocity Joe Burrow, maybe a Jalen Hurts. It's Michael Pittman Jr. rookie relic. Anthony with the Colts. Sort of saying Andrew, luck, come back. Got guys like him. It's Josh Kelly, orange velocity. Devin Bush, orange, and a Chase Young orange. So, Travis, you got the silver Chase Young, and now you've got the orange velocity Chase Young. Nice. Good pickup. There's Lane Johnson for the Eagles. Dante Fowler Jr., orange. There's Denzel Mims. And a Denzel Mims silver. Nice. Couple nice ones for Chase and the Jets. Denzel Mims could turn out to be a pretty good pass catcher for whoever's going to throw the ball to him. Another Joe Burrow. Nice. There we go. Geno Atkins as well. AJ Epinesa for Buffalo. Buffalo! Trubisky. What are the Bears going to do at quarterback? Nice. There you go, Dan. Another Joe Burrow for you.
That was close, Kopitar. All right, the final four boxes. Lonnie's saying they're, they're talking here in Texas. Let Houston trade for Dak. Let Houston take Dak Prescott for uh, for Watson. Interesting. I feel like it's just not going to happen, though, at the end of the day. Deshaun Watson, you know what I mean, Lonnie? Like, I, f I feel like... I feel like you so want like a monster deal to happen and we're going to talk about it all off season long, you know, where's Watson going to go? Who has the assets for Watson and blah, 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 blah. There you go. Kings tying it up. Is that Gabe? Woo! Dust off your Gabe Velarde rookies. He just scored the, uh, the equalizer. With two minutes left in the second period. Right, it's like soccer. Like, you just kind of... You kind of... Get on your rest a little bit. You feel a little too comfortable. And then bang 2-1, two, bang 2-2 two, two before you know it. Alright. No, Steph says no chance. Watson's better than Prescott. Yeah, but Watson doesn't, at, at least for now, the rumors are Watson doesn't even want to be there. Right. And he has to waive his no trade clause, and he doubt that he's going to. I mean, if you're Houston, basically, basically the front office, you basically have to go, all right, Watson, what coach do you want? <laughs> Sorry we didn't talk to you about the GM. What coach do you want? Let's get it going. Please stay. Please, God, stay. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I feel like it's just we're, we're all going to speculate and it's going to end up being, well, Deshaun Watson got the coach he wanted. He's happy. He's done. The coach is the most important thing anyway, right? You're not talking to the GM every day. You're talking to the coach every day, though. That's that's right, yeah. Brad Brad pointing out that you know Watson also doesn't have to to rehab. But I guess we're we're talking in the sense of not if that trade actually makes sense. Maybe it probably doesn't, but we're talking about a player who doesn't want to be in Houston allegedly for now. So then at that point, you know you're you, you kind of lose leverage as the Texans. So you kind of have to just get what you can get, even if that means a, a rehabbing. Uh, you know, Dak Prescott, you know what I mean? Or whatever. Or maybe go to the Jets. I don't know. All the all the, all the speculations there. Yeah, well how many years does JJ Watt have left on his on his deal? I don't know what they do with J.J. Watt. I don't think as the Texans you could actually trade J.J. Watt, right? Nice Justin Herbert. There we go, Jay. It's Jeff Okuda, Bradley Chubb. There's Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson takes the next step in his career as a as a thrower. Another Tua, nice. That'll be for Miami, Jay. Lamar Jackson takes the next step as a thrower. Could be pretty dangerous next year. People didn't think Josh Allen could could be be much of a accurate thrower. I mean, he could throw, but. Not with the accuracy that people want, but if he could do it, so can Lamar Jackson. It's Terod Taylor. Remember that punctured lung that he had? That was wild. A wild story. CJ Uzman. 
That's right. I guess Dak would be Dak would be a free agent if he doesn't get a deal. So I mean, maybe Dak Prescott could go wherever he wants. Maybe maybe Indianapolis will take a chance. I don't think the Chiefs have announced if Mahomes is playing or not. I think that's not up to them. It's the concussion protocol. Cause he and he, but he's been practicing this week. I think that's the update. Ooh, nice Justin Herbert orange velocity. Nice break. Um, so if the, as far as the Chiefs are concerned, they would roll him out there on Sunday. Patrick, I'm sure, would want to roll out there on Sunday. He would love that. They would want that to happen. But ultimately, if the concussion protocol team or whatever says nope. Then, then, then no. But you think Roger Goodell is going to let that happen? There's Jeremy Chin and Demarcus Lawrence. Mike Evans, we'll see him in action this weekend. Colin Johnson, Nate Stanley for the Vikings. Will be for Nathan. We've got Demario Davis Silver. There's Patrick right there. Another Zach Moss. That's a nice one too. Kenny Moore. DeAndre Swift for the Lions. CD Lamb. Alshon Jeffrey. And there is your break, boys and girls. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll do a quick little recap here too. That was a the twenty box blaster edition of uh, 2020 Panini Prism Football, Blaster Edition Picker Team number two. Not a bad break, actually. And some some pretty nice stuff here, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. And there you have it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the conversation. Thanks for watching, breaking, all that sort of stuff. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.